we are back with another episode of the Underground City Let's Build. Today, last ep- oh, well, today we're doing this. The last episode, we were working on the interior, you know, working on this little platform, making us cry, but we, I think we got a design, I think we got a feel for what we want from the Underground City, which is basically a carbon copy of the Ravine Let's Build, of course. Who would have thought? That my only building style is oak logs and oak planks. Who would have thought? So let's get started. So last episode we were re retrofitting this into something that didn't look like butthole. And I think we succeeded. So let's continue on by fixing this up, fixing up the platforms, and checking out what else is around here. What other builds we can do in the underground city. So... I was thinking about moving this pillar, and we move the pillar, and it's looking a lot better. And because we move the pillar, we have kind of an inset pillar right here, which could, you know, make things look a little bit nicer and have like a little sense of, sense of togetherness. That's that's what I'm gonna call it, togetherness. It was just like that. So let's um, let, let's see if we can move these pillars around. These they're not in the right spot. They gotta be right here. Um. It's really good to note how a build evolves over time. So uh, you think it's gonna come out one way? I, that already looks like, like that looks horrible to me. I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna change it up. Make it look better, make it look more rigid because that's what you need in an underground city. You need rigidity. And that's why it looks good. Because underground cities always have rigidity because you have massive amounts of stone just everywhere and all that pressure from all sides like like on that like you need to push back with equal amounts of pressure or else you die you don't have to like not like equal but like just enough so that the threshold of like the breaking point where you die isn't met because that's the bad part you know when you're dead people like you know not being dead so we're gonna make ourselves have rigidity in all aspects of life including underground city building I need a, I should call an infrastructure engineer and he can help me out. It's like, sir, how do you maintain traffic when you have no roads? Because you're an underground city. And he'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? And I'll be like, okay, bye. All right. Um, I'm going crazy. I've been in this cave too long. That's okay. Because we're in the underground city. Yay. <laughs> oh, goody. Um, trying to copy this over. It's pretty much just a standard bloop, bloop, bloop. That's what I call half slabs going up, bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. Um, so for this part, we need to, did I do this wrong? Oh, this top part, it needs to change. It needs to be like that. There you go. There I go. Pat on the back, fancy, doing great. Doing a good job. Very good. Okay. Um, that's looking good. That's looking hot. Mm-mm. All right, so we got to light that up. It's looking like, um, Wookie Town. I don't know what the name of the of the planet that the Wookiees from Star Wars are from. I'm just going to call them Wookie Town. Wookie Town looks like this. And that's what this is, the build is called. It's called that's what we're going to call our city. It's going to call it Wookie Town because it resembles, you know, all aspects of the Wookie life. Including, but not limited to, stone, oak logs, and oak planks. So, let's see. Let's make this little roofy bit come across here. Um, that can that can be free floating. We don't have to have that like. So I say rigidity, but I mean like zero gravity. You know, if you got those two confused, I'm sorry. <laughs> so bad. Um, we'll just kind of connect these in a way that doesn't look horrible. Connect this to the wall. This is going to be everywhere. And we're not using World Edit. I don't know how to use World Edit. I know how to use World Edit, but I don't like using World Edit because it makes you a weak builder. You get lazy. You're like, oh, I'll just make this wall flat. No, that's it's going to look bad. I mean, it gets done, but it's going to look bad. <laughs> and I don't want that. I want my build to be as complex as possible. See what I do to myself? Should have used World Edit, but no, I had to go and challenge myself. So we'll leave this here and we'll have that maybe go somewhere, maybe. 
Let's put some uh, let's put some logs right there. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's very cool. That's cool. Um, I'll have that right there and right there. So inside here, it has a bit of like, you know, something else going on besides whatever we're doing. Um, that's that's actually not bad. So wrap around here. We have a platform. Gonna remove whatever this thing is. I don't care. Make it oak. Make it spruce. So we gonna have that. If we were to follow the other design, we would have little platforms right here. And we'd have the stairs, right? Yeah. So we're just gonna copy what we did over there. Make it look nice in here. Um, connect this stuff. I don't know how I did it before, but it looked pretty good. Um, maybe if I put stairs right there, it'll look better. Yeah, that looks a lot better than what I had before. And I think I had something like that. Yeah! Let's just cover that up. Or maybe, um, that, that would look, that would that doesn't look bad. Okay, we'll do that over here. See, we're learning! We're learning how not to be bad at building. Which is the best thing besides, like, math to learn. Here we go. Um, we're going to put one of these. So I need, I need a block right here. And then down, okay, good. Um, I don't want that. I don't want that either. Can I have that? No. That's okay, we don't need that. This is gonna be a tunnel somewhere. And this is a good amount of blocks below the, um, the sea level, right? Oh yeah, we're parallel, that's why. Oh, this could, oh, I know what this is now. Well, we're gonna have to break something. I will break something. But this leads right into, oh, that's awesome. This leads right into the ravine. So if I was to make this a ravine, like if I was to kind of make this look cool and nice and not bad. So this is how we get in there. Okay, awesome. This is, this is getting cool. This is getting cool. I like it. Ooh, let's see. Um, I'll put that there. That doesn't look bad. It looks horrible, but it's okay. So I'm gonna break this entire platform out. See, this would this probably actually would have lined. It would not have lined up if I didn't mess up on it. So there you go. Fate. <laughs> oh, my nose is itchy. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna change this design up because there's a lot of stuff in the way and I'm trying to make an entrance. So, this is a three by three tunnel. Oh, I'm so stuffy today, oh. This is a tunnel right here. So, we technically need to have maybe a door right here. Maybe, yeah. And then we'll ha have this connect down here. And we will have a spruce. I love how it's so nonchalantly like connected. It's like, eh, you know, there's there's a door right here. There's a door on this side. But it connects to a humongous underground city. It's super cool. Please trust me. Please. Alright, that's connected. Um, should we have that connect like that? Yes, we should. I'm just trying to make this not look bad and connected at the same time. So that I'm just gonna bring that up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back later and, and like completely be horrified at all the stupid stuff I've built and thought was good. <laughs> so we have that. I don't know. that it, it, This would look bad any other way. There's no other way that I would have this where it would look good. But I need it to be here because that's the entrance. That That is the preferred entrance. We'll have an entrance inside there, but... No, that looks weird. This needs to be up double blocks. That's okay. So I'm going to take this out. Bring this in. Connect it. And then we're going to copy what we did beforehand. So this isn't anything. So I'm just going to like... Put that there. Um, What did I do for this? Okay, that's, that's that. All right, so I did that, and then I connected it like that. Maybe? How do I do that? Okay. I broke that, and I placed that. And we are good. Yes! 
All right, so I connected that there, and that is how we did the entrance. So we go inside, and we are met with an awesome, amazing underground cave system that is now presented by these platforms. It works so well. Look at me. Look at this, like lining up. See, is it's it's amazing. This is wonderful. I love this. Let's build. This is so much fun. All right, so what else can we do today? We got time, but time don't pay. Okay, um, place that there. No, we have. Okay, how, what? What looks better? Placing this and then like maybe fences like that, or the other way. I'm hearing the cheering. I was just like, for that one. Yeah, that's right. Oh, should we have them upside down? Yeah, upside down is better. And then we have the corner right there. Yes! There we go. We are making progress. Block by block. So I'm going to make... I'm going to put a little roof, maybe. Like that. Is that cool? No? Okay. I'll remove it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this part. Should we just add like a square platform across the entire thing? Like just in case? We connect it. It look It's looking better. I just want to mention we are on like super bright. If we were to lower the brightness to like moody, this cave would look very, very dark. <laughs> Oi. But for building purposes, we have it all the way up so we can see what we're doing. So make sure to light up your cave because mobs would be everywhere and it would be horrible. A very bad experience. Okay, we'll do that. We'll just kind of break that. And we'll do something with that later when we are inspired in that area. So I don't want people doing this to like, you know, fall off. So we're going to have that. Uh, break, the, oh, break the leg. So what do we do now? What else is there to complete? I'm thinking a bridge across the entire thing. But where? Where do we have such bridge? I don't know. So let's take a look at what we have. We have this pouring water thing. And then we have whatever we got over here. So connect it. That's what we're going to do. It's going to be a series of awesome platforms. That's what this place is. It's all platforms. It's just a series of interconnecting platforms that make up a city. And that's okay with me. I like that. Um, sh should we have this connect like that? It's looking a bit weird. It's starting to look weird. Let's not connect it just yet. Let's take a look at what we have. We. Um, why is this lower? Why is that like that? Is it because it's landing differently? Do I not have enough water there? Let's see. See, it's not doing it. It's being weird. Like it's not lining up. Can I please? Oh, I've done it. Okay. Abort. All right, block all water. <laughs> Block it all. Fix it. All right. Well, well, whilst we're doing that, let's fix the pool right below it. Oh, I'm super stuffy today. Oh, it hurts. You were so stuffy, it hurts. That's what I got going on right now. So now it should be equal. Nope, it's not. I have no idea what's going on. And it's kind of weird. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that is pretty cool. Okay, that's very cool. Never mind. We'll we'll keep that. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, I wanted it a bit more systematic, like s a different pools here and there, and they kind of like gradually go down. So we'll use that as our inspiration for now, because that looks pretty nifty. Should we have a little castle bit right here? Castle bit. Is that what you like? Smooches. Yay. That's cool. I'm just saying words. Um, that's cool. All right. So now that we have that, we're going to connect it. No, sideways logs are the worst thing. Besides, no, they're the best thing, but they're just so hard to place. 
It's so frustrating. Um, that's good. All right. Um, I'm gonna put this here. No. Stop. Leave me alone. So that's like that. Okay, and we can work with this and make it clean on the inside. Like so. Um, I'm just going to replace this with um, the logs. Like that. And have it surround it in like a little 3x3 three three section. So then we can um, move it around. We're not going to like actually move it around because that's not how Minecraft water works. But give it the sense that we're, you know, kind of locating it and giving it its own space and its own pressures. We can walk around it and it's kind of cool. So now that it's stabilized, we can do something with this. We can drop it into a secondary pool right here. And then a tertiary pool down here and then maybe like down at the bottom. And this seems to be like one of the more important things of the cave. So I'm seeing kind of like, you know, caves tell me this is where the pool goes. This is where the 3x3 three three goes. So that means that around here, that's where everything's going to line up. I wish it was kind of in line better. So we're going to align everything. There's going to be a 3x3 three three path, supposedly. So if I was to align this, that means push everything this way. So if this was going to be the 3x3 three three in between here. One, two, three, three. And this kind of dips over the edge, which looks awesome. It's great. There's a space of two. And that's okay. That's not bad. We can work with that. So it's actually a space of one because this is going up. And it's going to be a little basin and it's going to connect. It's going to be great. I'm doing this wrong, aren't I? Yes, I am doing this wrong. Um, okay, we'll fix that. Change it up. I was doing it wrong, but that's okay. The difference in height isn't that great. It's actually very low. A lot lower than I wanted it to be. <laughs> so if I'm standing right here, that means that two, one, two. This is where we're standing there. One, two. That's not what I want. I want three. Maybe? So I can at least fit underneath. Unless we want a gradual. I mean, we can do that. We'll do a gradual. Good guess. Cave, give me something better. I don't, like, I don't, I don't know. I have to make sense out of what you're doing. That's too high, right? Should we lower it? What do you think, guys? We lower it, or is it a good height? Because we're just going to come down here this way, and we're going to come pretty sharply then. So I'll lower it one block. You saw me break that, right? I totally broke that just there. So this will be our new platform. I'll, I'll recreate it really quickly. And we can see what we're going to get. So I'm thinking that as we drop it, um, we'll have another platform. And then it'll catch that. And I want it to be equal distance. Equidistant. Um, so that things look nice. Things are in line. Because if this drops like one block, but then drops like five blocks here, it's going to look weird. We can have like kind of similar platforms falling at the same rate. And I think that would look better. So we have this, and then th that means that there's going to be a sideways log right here, and then one vertical right there. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Trust me, it's okay. Calm down. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's correct. It's just, I'm wondering why this bottom part looked weird, but that's because it's just connected um, and it's covered by the stone on the top, you know, top little basin. So that's fine. And then we'll just go around and it connects. Yeah. That's cool. That's good. Actually, that's really good. So I'm just going to like lighten this area up, finish this off, and we'll be done for the episode. 
So we'll connect this out. Oh, this is looking great. I'm loving this. Let's build. I don't know if you are, but I am. It's looking very cool right now. Like, it's just so much potential. Like, there's so much I can do. I'm never, like, out of ideas. I mean, it's, it's only the second episode, but, like, I feel like there's just so much to do that, you know, you can't run out of ideas. And there is actually a space of three, which makes this a lot easier for connecting the different things. So I'm just going to fill this in. All right, and then that, that will connect. This will supposedly connect up there. So I'll have that there, connect that, and we'll just kind of figure this out real quick. I just want to show this in action. So we need to cover this up somehow. Um, if we bring this down, we should be able to do something. One, two, three. And connect it like that, yeah. Hello, that works. Could probably do something like that. I don't want to like just have a straight 45 degree angle going down, but that's kind of what we need to have. Like that just kind of needs to happen. But unless I do something like this, which um, would would necessitate that, but it just looks weird. Things aren't lining up. So if I do that, and then that, and that looks weird, unless I change that up, and then make this go up like that, and then we connect it with a fence, just like everything else. And we are good. We connected the basins, and it doesn't look stupid. Yes. So then we're going to break this out, and it's going to flow right in. Awesome. <laughs> that looks really cool. So thank you all for watching this episode of the Ravine Let's Build. If you enjoyed this, you know, little basin commentary, you enjoyed like the build, please leave a like. Let me know what you think. If you didn't, leave a like anyway. <laughs> no, don't do that. If you didn't like the video, please dislike. And let me know why <laughs> in the comments below, which is why the comments are there, so that I can figure out what you guys enjoy, what you don't enjoy. It's okay. Um... Yeah, I'm going to leave you with this. Stay friends with my friends. And I will see you in the next video. Video. Bye-bye.